We've not spoken to you since your, your new deal. You must be delighted. Yeah, yeah, obviously delighted to, to get the deal signed now. But uh, I think I need to kind of forget about that and focus on the on the football on the pitch. Uh, obviously really happy to, to get it done for another few years. But uh, aye, the focus is on, on the pitch uh, until the end of the season now. I suppose having that done does let you do that because there'll be no part in your mind thinking what if what's going to happen. Exactly. Uh, you know, you can fully focus on uh, the football side now. None of the contract talk or that. Um, so that, that's what I want to happen. I'll full focus on the football um, and especially on Sunday. Yeah, talk about Sunday. Just how massive a game is this for Celtic given the league campaign this season? Does it make it even more important? Uh, it's always a big game during these ones, especially going away to Ibrox. Um, and I, it probably puts the pressure off a wee bit going in and you know, it's the last cup to win this season. So we're looking, we're looking forward to doing that. Hopefully we can go, go there and put a good performance in on Sunday and uh, you know, get into the next round. If you compare going into this game on Sunday to where you've been going into the other games against Rangers this season, how much stronger do you feel you are at the moment? I we, feel, we always feel very strong, especially this club. Uh, we've got a really strong team, uh, good individuals. We're good as a team. I think you saw that last weekend <clears throat> against Livingston. It was probably our performance this season. Uh, you know the way we played, scoring goals, creating chances, and a clean sheet, which helps a lot. So going into Sunday, we're we'll full confidence, and uh, we'll be looking to put things right. Stephen, what would winning the Scottish Cup for the fifth successive time do for the club this season? It'll be a massive thing. I think this club is built on winning trophies. Uh, we've done that for the past few years. So, yeah, this is the the first step to to go and doing it again. And you know, five trophies, five Scottish Cups in a row would be would be a massive thing. So, I will very much looking forward to it. How much uh, confidence do you take from the last game against Rangers at Ibrox, where it was on a non goal it cost you? I thought, especially the first half, uh, at Celtic Park the last time, we were excellent. We were on the front foot, creating chances. Should have scored you know, two or three goals in the first half alone. So, yeah, it does give us a lot of confidence going into the next game, knowing that uh, we can perform like that. Uh, we just need the goals to come, and uh, you know, hopefully we don't concede in at the other end, which which uh, as a defender, you pride yourself on that. Rangers are unbeaten in 18 domestic games at Ibrox this season. Looking back at that game, you played them at Ibrox. How confident are you you can break that, that run of Rangers? I, well, obviously I was involved in the Ibrox game, but um, I think that day, seeing it, the boys did very well. Uh, I thought we probably we created chances again. It's just It's just putting them away. And I, we're going to this game for our confidence. You know, we've been on a good run ourselves. So, you know, it's a, it's, but going into these games, you know, it's, it's not really about form, but we are, we are very confident going in there after the, the last few games. Cheers. When you talk about confidence, um, and what about your own confidence as well since um, John Kennedy's been in charge? What's that done for you in terms of your own development? I, since he's came in, I think he's, he's put a lot of trust in me. Which uh, which helps you a lot. Helps me a lot. Makes it really easy to play. Uh, you know exactly what you're doing. How you want you to play. How you want you to defend. Um, you know the positional sense of the game for the full back four. Um, you know, we work on it a lot. It's uh, it's helped a lot, and I think you you saw that last few games. How big an influence has John Kennedy been on your career? And congratulations on the new contract, by the way, Stephen. Thanks very much. Um, I ever since I came up when I was 16, 17, maybe, um, when I was the coach at the time. Um, very good with the, with the young players coming through, the academy players, because he knows what, what position all the academy players has been in. He's been in the same uh, position as me. And being a defender as well, uh, it helps a lot. Um, you know, the journey that he's been on as an academy player, you kind of. You kind of look at that and compare yourself to that. So there's no better, no better ex-player to look at that. Um, you know, coming through as a centre half. Obviously, he still seems to be in the running potentially to be the manager of Celtic on a full-time basis. Uh, in this match, this weekend, obviously have a bearing on that one way or the other. 
in a way do the players feel like they want to give absolutely everything they would do anyway but you know as a way to to help John's case as you said we give everything anyway uh, 100% every week for the club uh, especially in a game like this we know we know what it means we know what it means to the club uh, I know personally what it means as a fan so I 100% going into everything and uh, if it helps them you know maybe take a step forward in the job who knows um, but we are fully focused on, on Sunday and uh, uh, that's it Thanks Stephen Stephen do you think a win on on uh, Sunday would go a long way to, to repaying the fans after what's been a sort of difficult season for them Yeah we know it's been a difficult season uh, I think our performances over the whole uh, haven't been good enough uh, for the standards uh, that this club hold so going and winning a trophy at the end, you know, finishes on a a, a bit of a high, uh, and I all starts on Sunday. If we get uh, if we win on Sunday, it's it's a really big one. So yeah, we'll be looking to that. We're going into a lot of confidence, We're playing really well. So um, I we're looking we're looking forward to it, and hopefully we can we can repay the fans with that with a win. You talked about John Kennedy's influence on you. How much of an influence has Christopher Iyer been on you? Because he's a, he's obviously pretty experienced now, and he's a, he's obviously a real talent. I, I think he's still quite young as well. He's only twenty two, twenty three, so being quite young and that experience that does help a lot. Apart from him being a great player as well, um, yeah, very comfortable to play with. His pace alone helps that, but his ability on the ball and. Communication as well with a full back four. I think John Joe coming in as well. The right back has been excellent. And then we've got Greg and Diego on the left. Uh, you know, either of them playing, um, you know, they do well in the back four. So I Chris has Chris has done well as well. Um especially the last few the last few months. He stepped up his game. <laughs> 